Live from a space station far from Earth, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, it's Gory, Barty. <laughs> Help the mole rats escape the snakes in this cooperative game of strategy and suspense. Includes challenge game. Are you ready for the challenge? In this episode... Another great game. Another great cooperative game for kids and everybody of all ages. Peaceful Kingdom. Space Escape. Mole Rats in Space. Quick. To the escape pod. To the board game room. The skate pods in the board game room. Don't, don't ask. Just get to the board game To the board game room. There really is no escape pod. All right, here we go. It's Space Escape, Mole Rats in Space game. The board game. Now, in this game, you're going to have this cool-looking, flickery, shiny game box. I almost think about the Muppets Space movie. Muppets in space a little bit when I see this. I don't know why. But anyway. You got the instructions here. What are you laughing at? Everything I say sometimes. I'm not that funny. Just stop it. Jeez. I'm not that funny. Alright, so you got this cool game box here. It's going to have all the space moles. Alright, the mole rats here. Get it? Mole rats. It's like almost like an accident saying mole rats from the shopping malls. But whatever. <laughs> anyway, so I guess that's what they meant. Here's the board. You're going to get this uh, nice organized you know, um, casing here of the game, the box. You'll get these um, player marker, uh, what do you call it? Player guides, which are pretty cool. The cards, The are you ready for a challenge? It's like a little, like, uh, mini expansion, I guess, in the game. And, uh, you get these tokens here. So, um, let me, uh, take out all the parts and everything, all the pieces of this game, and unfold the board, and I'll show you the instructions on how to play this game. And what? No applaud? I mean, I don't do this for nothing. That's better. There you go. All right, enough, Ben. You don't want to hog all the glory and all, you freaking ham. we go with the uh, Space Escape Mole Rats in Space game. The board game. Now, in this game, you get this board here. Okay. And uh, it's got all these different spaces, like chutes and ladders and stuff. Okay. And everybody's got to start in their starting positions and make their way to the escape pod. Okay. But in the meantime, the interim, you have all these snakes chasing you. Uh, this is like a spoof knockoff, maybe a little bit, but like a kid's version. Like, uh, I definitely know for sure Samuel L. Jackson should have been in this board game, okay? Because we have got to get these stinking snakes off the stinking, uh, escape pod, the spaceship. <clears throat> in this game.
Jeez. Okay, so you get these are player market pieces here. These are the, the mole rats. Okay. And they're gonna get their uh their um first aid kits or something like that, whatever. You get other tokens here. I'll tell you what these tokens are and stuff right now. Okay, um those are gonna be your med your med kit tokens, okay? So you're gonna get uh uh the four mole rat movers, okay, and they're gonna have space packs for collecting equipment, which is pretty cool. So on the back of these mole rats, you're gonna get the little compartment, like a little backpack that you're gonna carry all their equipment on, which is pretty cool stuff. I like that. Almost like um uh Forbidden Bridge or something like that, you know? So uh the the board game. All right, good. <laughs> so then you're gonna get um four med kits, okay. And you're going to get uh, four equipment tokens. You're going to get food, which is going to be that radish over there. You're going to get a toothbrush, a mat, and then uh, duct tape, okay? No, not that kind of duct tape. Quack, quack. No, not that kind of duct tape. <laughs> All right. So then um, you're going to get um, that and... Uh, these tokens here are going to be 12 snake tokens, three each of four colors, okay? 46 playing cards, and then the one challenge envelope, okay? And it's important to know that you do not open the envelope until you read those instruction, these instructions, all right? Or I'll give you the instructions, and, and I'll tell you why, and you're going to be uh, using this. Don't open this envelope until you've won three games, all right, and then you mark off all the three games. You could do that if you want, or you could do it on a different piece of paper so you don't dirty it up and mess it up, you know, and stuff, you know, so. Okay. All right, so now you're going to get a player board here, and this is going to do to, um, you know, uh, use as, like, um, you know, like uh, a reference card. That's all. So I, I'll, I'll, you know, go like this and, you could pause it, read it, study it, and learn it. Okay. And that one. And that's basically it. Those are, you know, your movements in the game. So in this game, too, um, they're really easy instructions. Now, the object of the game is to... Um, what do you call it? Uh, now... In a space station far from Earth, uh, the mole rats, known for their exceptional ability to cooperate, are hard at work. Okay, One morning, their secure world is shattered when the alarm bells blare. Intruders alert. Snakes have infiltrated their space station on their mud... Uh, on, on their... Uh, scuzz bucket. Space game. All right there, Sammy. <laughs> Just kidding, Sam. So, anyway, so uh, what do you call it? The space, and they're all on the loose. The mole rats are at risk unless you can save them. Can you and your teammates help the mole rats gather their emergency equipment and make it to the escape pod before time runs out? Did you know mole rats are known for the... All right, they'll, they'll study that, read it, learn it later on, okay, Vin? All right, so... Now, what do you call it? Um, so, the object of the game, Space Escape is a cooperative uh, board game, okay? Uh, players must work together to collect all four pieces of their equipment and make it to the escape pod before uh, any one of the following happens. A mole rat gets bitten twice by a snake. A mole rat goes down a, uh, an air shaft and is shot into outer space. Uh-oh. Okay. Or a snake goes up the ladder and enters the escape pod. Okay. Uh-oh, they're going to have an unwanted guest in there. Uh, you run out of time because a player has no card to play on their turn. That's a definite. Okay? You don't want that to happen. Folks. Alright, so now, um, how to play this game. 
okay? Well, first off, you're going to set out the board, and you're going to choose a mole wrap mover and med kit, okay? That matches this, and you're going to set them up over here. So let me set up the board, all right? And I'll be right back to uh, help you escape this space game. Actually, they probably want to escape this episode, but they could simply change the channel then. <laughs> shut up. You tell me to shut up. Alright, so anyway, let me set this game up and then I'll tell you how to play the game. Okay, so here's basically how you're going to set up the board. You're going to put the tokens on the matching token spaces. Like duct tape with the duct tape, uh, the red snake with red snake, you know, and so on and so forth. You see it. And then you're going to put your play market piece in the matching color space with their matching colored med kit. Okay? Now for a two-player game, you're going to want to just have them, the ones facing a cross-play. Either or, okay? And that and that's that. But for a four player game, this is how you're gonna set it up. And uh that's pretty much basically it. Now um you're gonna uh um so place one snake token of each color on the matching snakes uh illustration on the board and these are the snake start spaces. You will have to two you will have two snake tokens of each color left over. Put them in uh the side of the board for later on the use of the game. Okay, now um, place the equipment uh, on the, the matching space on the board. Now the med kit, each mole rat has access to a med kit, which contains anti-venom against one snake bite. This the first time mole rat has bitten by a snake, gets bitten by a snake, you're going to move the mole rat back to its starting space and discard the med kit token to the box. The anti-venom uh, in the kit is used up. The mole rat continues playing the game. Um, the second time a mole rat gets bitten, the player loses in the game. Okay? So the, all the players lose the game. So that's too bad. So this, this game kind of has a little bit... I see it a little bit. Slight mechanism from the game... Uh, vintage board game Rattler. Okay? Alright, so now... um. But that's okay because it's it, it, it's a it's a cool mechanism. I like it. There are five tiers in the in the mole rats um, space station. Air shafts and ladders uh, connect the tiers. Okay, so the only way for a snake or mole rat to move from one tier to another is to climb a ladder or fall through an air shaft. Okay. So now, um, for a two-player game, you choose movers from opposite sides of the board. As I said. And then uh, that's basically it. Um, so um, you're going to deal one card to each player. Okay, Each player is going to get a card. And you're going to be doing the following with these cards. Playing them to move around in the game. Okay, You can move three snakes to a ladder and so on and so forth. It's, it's kind of common sense when you read it. And um, self-explanatory. Okay, so But you're going to shuffle the cards and deal one card face up to each player. Place the remaining cards next to the board, face down, to form a draw pile. Okay? Like such and such. Alright? And then the draw pile would be like that. Okay? So now, um, two-player game. Remove these three cards from the deck before playing the two-player game. And there will be 43 cards in the deck. So these are the cards that you're going to look for that uh, you got to remove in the game for a two-player game. Okay? So now how to play. Youngest player goes first. Play then takes turns in a clockwise order around the board. Each turn has three steps now, okay? Three. All right, so play. Your, you're going to play your card, okay? So you move the creatures, mole rats, and snakes shown on the card, like so. So you're going to do that, or you're going to move, you know, your mole rats like that, okay? So now... um. Discard your card and put your card into the discard pile, all right? Uh, draw a new card, okay? Now, take the top card from the draw pile and lay it face up. If there are no move cards to draw, and you can't win the game with the cards that you have left in your hands, you all lose the game. Oh, man. Okay, so now... Yeah, that deserves a noise. All right, so now, how to read the cards. The pictures on each card tells you how... To move the mole rats and or snakes on the game, okay? Follow the instruction at the top of the half of the card first, and then follow the instructions in the bottom half. Alright, so now here's moving mole rats, okay? 
All right, so when you get cards that look like this, okay, and you can pause it, study it, read it, learn it. Um, move your mole rat, okay? Move any one mole rat. Move all mole rats. Snakes, move one snake for indicated color. Or the indicated color, green, uh, brown, purple, red. Move any one snake that's multicolored. So you can move any one snake. Move all snakes of the indicated color that are on the board, okay? So, um, you just move all the snakes of the indicated color of, of, of red. So, you're going to have, like, let's just say, for example, there's uh, red here. You can move red. You have to move all three snakes on the board, okay, that are that color. And uh, this one shows red, but it'll show other colors, too. Um, this one, move any one snake to the nearest ladder and then up the ladder. Uh-oh, so here we go. So you can move the snake up the ladder like that. Now, um, it would have been cool if they had, like, little snake miniatures, but whatever, that, that, that that's okay. So now, um, uh, if two ladders are the same distance apart, you can choose one, okay? That's cool. So move all snakes of the indicated color to the nearest ladder and then up the ladder, okay? So you can move three purple or three brown or whatever up the ladders. Now, you're going to add one new snake of the indicated color to the snake start space on the board, okay? So that's if you land here, then you can add another snake to the board, okay? When, you know, these snakes are either empty or not spaces. Uh, moving in either direction, again, these are the uh, the cards. Move one space in either direction. Move one or two spaces in either direction. Move two spaces in either direction. Move two or three spaces in either direction. And move three spaces in either direction. Okay, so you're going to be getting cards that look like these, you know, uh, illustrations. Okay, they're going to have these illustrations on those cards that you're going to be playing this game. And I just read to you the um, and showed you the, uh, the cards and what they mean. Okay, so now uh, move a mole rat. If your card instructs you to move a mole rat, choose a direction to move and move one space of each arrow shown in the card. Follow the instructions for the space in which you end up your move on. Okay, ignore any ladders or air shafts or other mole rats and equipment that move through on the way to your final space. Okay, do not, however, ignore the snakes. Okay, if a mole rat passes through a space with a snake, the mole rat gets bit and must go back to its start space for the med kit to be able to play the game again. Okay, once that med kit is used up, next time the, the mole rat gets bit, remember, all the players lose in the game, okay? But I made up a house rule that if you want to play it this way, just that mole rat loses in the game, and the rest can keep on playing. So now if a mole rat passes through a space with a snake, okay, they're going to get bit, and blah, blah, I just said that. Okay, so now if one mole rat is bitten a second time, you all lose the game. Always play top first and then the bottom of the card, okay? So you play the top first of the card and then the bottom uh, part of the card, okay? So in this example here, you're going to see that your mole rat must move three spaces. You decide to move to the right because there's a snake in the other direction, see? Okay? So now you must move three spaces, ignoring the air shaft and ladder on the way. So you're going to skip over those, and then what you're going to do, what you're going to do on your last space that you land on, okay, by exact count. After you move your mole rat, you would then move all red snakes three spaces in, uh, each di in either direction that you want to move them in, okay? So that's that. Okay, so now here, if a mole rat lands on the ladder, you climb up. The mole rat must go up immediately, move the mole rat to the space at the top of the ladder, and the mole rat never climb down ladders. You always go up because what you got to do, you know, is get your tail to the skate pod, okay? And then you all win the game, or one of you win. We'll find out. Okay, so now the, an air shaft fall through. Fall through, okay? The, the mole rat must go down. Immediately move the mole rat to the space at the bottom of the air shaft. The mole rat falls through a shaft leading to outer space. All the players lose the game. I just make it that, like, the one player loses the game, and that's it. They're, I mean, after all, they're the one who left the air shaft. So, you know. But, um, 
It's a real cool game so far, so good. There's some strategy in this game, but you know, then again, you always got to do what the cards say. So, you know, it's kind of random, but it is really cool. I like it. Now, the equipment collected, okay? So now, pick up the equipment tokens and place it in uh, the Mole Rat Space Pack. All the equipment tokens must be collected in order to win. So you could collect all the space tokens. So you get the radish, let's just say, right? And then you can just put it in there like that, and he collected it. Cool. I like that. It's a pretty fun game. So there's a lot to do in it, too. Now, a mole rat, you give a boost, okay? Mole rats cannot share spaces. Mole, move the mole rat already on this space to an adjacent space in either direction. You choose. Then follow the directions on that spa new space for that mole rat, okay? So they can't be in the same space, all right? Well, they don't have to be that violent about it. <laughs> all right, so now... Um, a snake, snake bite, okay, if a mole rat moves onto, um, or through a space containing a snake, the snake bites it, two or more snakes on one space count as one bite, so you get two bites then, that, that, that's too bad, now move the, the mole rat back to its start space, and you can lose if you get two bites, but it doesn't say here in the instructions yet, so, um, you can move the mole rat back to its start space, then discard a med kit into the box, Keep any equipment tokens you already have collected. Well, that's cool. That's a relief. Uh, if that mole rat has already used its med kit, the players lose the game. Eesh. So it's all like dependent at the like, you know, count of like, on, on, you know, the count of like losing uh, the med kit, so using the med kit. Escape pod, help the others. If your mole rat reaches the escape pod, you must now help the other mole rats on your turn. So you're going to continue to draw cards. You're going to leave your mole rat there in the escape pod. But you yourself are going to keep on playing the game with the other players that are still roaming around the spaceship trying to get to the escape pod by helping out by drawing cards when it's still your turn. So it's still your turn to the end of the game in which all the players reach the escape pod. You follow me? Okay. So now, you know, um, you're going to continue to draw cards. And when you play cards, you're going to tell that person... Uh, you know, tell you to, to move your mole rat, move another player's mole rat instead. Ask permission first if it's okay if you move their mole rat. Most of the time they'll say yes because they're having fun. It's a co-op game and it's all teamwork. So now if a snake lands on a ladder, climb up. The snake must go up immediately, move the snake to the space at the top of the ladder. Uh, snakes never climb down ladders. So it's the same as always, you know. They're going to move up like that. That's it. An air shaft fall through. The snake must go down. Immediately move the snake to the bottom of the air shaft. And if the air shaft leads out of space, take that pesky snake off the board and add a play. Okay? Because we have got to get these mother scuzz bucket snakes off this mother scuzz bucket uh, spaceship game. Yeah. Okay. So now... Uh, I might have to go into a second episode of this game, so, you know, time is running out, so, um, now, um, and Ash, you can join me in the next episode of this game, and the Insane Board Game Freak Show, your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak, your command goes, go, everybody, da 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 alright, so now, um, the equipment, nothing happens, okay, uh, if a snake lands on a piece of equipment, nothing happens, you leave the snake there, and you must move the snake off the piece of equipment before you can collect it, okay, a snake, stack them, Snakes can share spaces. You're going to stack the snakes on top of each other. There's no limit to the number of snakes that can be on a space. Uh-oh. Uh, a mole rat. Snake bite. If a snake moves onto the, uh, or through a space containing a mole rat, it bites that mole rat. So two or more snakes on one space count as one bite. So move the mole rat back to its starting space, then discard the med kit to the box, keep the equipment. Same rules as the, uh, you know, if a, if a snake bites uh, the mole rat. Okay, and then you're going to keep the equipment tokens that you were collected. The mole rat has already used the med kit. The players lose the game. Okay, escape pod. Game over. If a snake enters the, the escape pod, the players lose. <laughs> All right, game.